So what's going on everybody? It is your boy QuestX coming back at you once again with another video and I just got wind over this situation. Shout out to Coach Shelton Harrison. This is the uh, actual video footage from his channel. M another brother in the LDBC. Please go shout out, go subscribe to Coach Shelton Harrison. Um, I had no idea, okay, the depths of the buck dancing that Anthony Joshua would go, but anyone, anyone in America because I'm not expecting you UK boxing fans to understand this because apparently it's like on two different worlds, two different planets, okay? You guys believe, you guys watch this, witness this, not all of you, but some of you. And the reason why I don't expect you to get this is because I know you're coming from a, uh, an agenda and a point and you cannot teach someone uh, that doesn't want to be taught. So it, you guys are just setting your ways. Maybe this is how you guys do it over there in the UK. Maybe buck dancing is just a way of life for you guys. But here in America, uh, that's not how it goes. We have buck dancers, but it's not a way, a way of life for African-Americans here. This image is absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Coach Shelton Harrison said it best. Um, Anthony Joshua knows what he was doing. Uh, these... Uh, People who set this event up knew what they were doing and they knew the message it was going to cascade. And, you know, this is why I can criticize. I can mess with Anthony Joshua about, you know, being a juicy J, right? I can mess with him about his very, very suspect pictures he takes with men. Um, shout out to Fanon. And, well, not for now. Uh, uh, shout out to World Breaker Fighting for posting something that, again, I, I've always sat there and said, Anthony Joshua puts himself in very suspect situations. I've seen this man out with grown men who were wearing dresses and skirts. Very weird, shady shit. Okay. Warped shit. Okay. If you come over here, oh, he got a kid, yo. He got a fem. Uh -uh. You, you apparently don't understand how it is here in America. There are plenty of dudes who get married and be slipping and dipping on their wives with other dudes. Okay, we, we've we've had this situation occur all throughout the world. So when you start coming with that whole, oh no, he can't be that, he can't be. Mm -mm. He does some pretty feminine things. Okay, but I can pick on him about that, right? Okay, but this, I never would, I never would, you know, when we talk about Massa Hearn and we say things like that, it's, it's in, in ways to kind of maybe inspire him to speak out, step out, take control of his career, do his own thing. But this, this right here, no, nah. no. Nah. Okay, hey, if you want to get, you guys can sit here and make a lot of excuses for him in the ring. Talk about how his career should be moved. Talk about what he should do. First of all, it's creepy, sexualized. It's it's animals and dresses. This is just wrong. This is fundamentally wrong. Anybody who supports Anthony Joshua should be like, not a good look, homie. Not a good look. Okay. And then the whole thing with why is why do they have to be apes? Why do they have to be apes hanging on him? Okay, come on. Think about that. Think about the correlation they're trying to make here. Think about the, the racist people who will watch that video and what they're going to be thinking. Damn what you think. If you love AJ so much, right? Because AJ is just this, uh, you can't get AJ out your mind, right? You guys talk about us with Deontay Wilder. Even if. Come on, you got to come at it from a logical standpoint and say, this is a bad look, a bad look. What were you thinking, Anthony Joshua? What were the people who handle you thinking? Oh, wait, LDBC been trying to tell you about what they've been thinking about Anthony Joshua the whole time. But you guys don't want to touch that because that would be validating what we've been saying about him from the jump. I, I, listen, I never rooted for AJ, okay? I never will root for AJ. Not while Deontay Wilder is in the picture. Not while Deontay Wilder is, is sitting up there trying to prove greatness. Okay. He's always going to be nemesis number one in the heavyweight division. As far as we have an American heavyweight competing in the heavyweight division. So he never was going to get my vote there. But I'll be damned. I'll be goddamned. 